All right, continuing our modern lesson now, we're going to talk about infogram, not Instagram, infogram. It's I-N-F-O-G-R dot A-M. As you probably noticed, a lot of the infographic creating sites are dot A-M, dot L-Y, not dot com. So just something to remember. You can always find this stuff by Googling it or by going back to the course on modern lessons. Um, moving on, infogram is a very simple, maybe not as simple as easel.ly, easel.ly, um, but it's still quite simple. So after you go to the homepage and click log in or register and you create an account, you'll be brought to this. Uh, this page actually looks a lot like iCloud if you don't use that software at all from Apple. Uh, so what you do is just click create right here and let's select a nice brown one. All right, so it's basically just loading it all up for us and it'll show us how to manipulate it. I have it open in a different window where it'll tell you exactly what each thing does from this little button to change settings to previewing to the obvious share button and drag and drop objects. And note these little tools on the right side. They do a really good job at showing how to add text things, maps, can uh, videos, images, and all that good stuff. But for now, we're going to just use this. Uh, so let's double click to add title. So I just double clicked and this is the title. Pretty straightforward, right? And now you can just click off of it and it will uh, automatically make that the correct title that you just punched in. So this is a caption area. Pretty straightforward, right? Uh, and now we're going to do one of the most powerful things, double click to e edit the chart. And if you're familiar with Excel, then this is really simple for you, uh, but basically you can just change whatever you want these values to be. So let's say that instead of past GDP, it's, I don't know, uh, coffee consumption. I can spell, I swear. Okay, so coffee consumption. Uh, once you do that, we can change if we want the curves to be smooth, if we want it to be on a reverse axis, if we want a grid, all that kind of stuff. So we'll just hit done and it'll quickly reload it for us. And as you can see, everything is updated for us. Pretty fun. Um, that is the most powerful thing to do, but you can also add in a lot of other things. You can add in a map, uh, which will just open up a different area down here. Uh, we'll just scroll down for you. So you can double click to edit chart. So now we have a map to show off all this stuff. So it's UNESCO sites, but you can change it to whatever. We could make it just data points. Um, and it's pretty much as simple as that. You can also load data. So if you have an Excel sheet or a .csv file filled with information, then that's probably good. So as you can see here, there's some dots, uh, which are your data points. And that is about it. So you can always uh, add in text or more images, a picture, or even a video, which is pretty cool for interactive infographics. That's something that easily doesn't really do uh, as well, I'd say. Uh, so we can preview what it's going to look like. This usually takes a little, couple seconds to render because it's still in, interactive and not uh, a static JPEG. But as you can see, it's exactly how we laid it out before. We can always go back in and edit it once again if we want. So if you click on it, it'll show you a, a way to uh, embed it. And once you make it public, it'll show up here. You can start adding in Facebook comments and all that kind of good stuff. So we'll go back hit close preview, hit the big old share button, and we'll hit share. Okay, public. Uh, and now we'll just say, you know what, let's publish it on Facebook. Why not? Because that's always fun. Uh, so we'll just hit share link. You can always choose to change where you share it. And there you go. We can always download it as well. You can download it in a flattened PNG or a PDF that still has layers on it, which is very cool. So I would definitely recommend trying out Infogram if that's something that you're looking to do. Uh, it's free and relatively easy to use and pretty straightforward. I hope that helps. See you on the next lesson.